Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Living Live Daily with Jay. I'm back out here again, ready to do something real special today. The one of the trophy fish that I caught, well I consider trophy fish because trolling, something that I hardly ever do, and I got to get out there, and man, and I did it on the first troll, guys, I'm talking about the first troll, and it was fun, I had so much fun out there that day, I caught numerous of fish, you know, sand perch, I caught mackerel, I caught sea bass, I caught grunt, and um, one of the fish that right here today that I'm going to deal with is that mackerel I caught that y'all saw back in the video when I was out there trolling, and I'll show you a clip of that while I prepare myself to get ready for this lovely mackerel. What I'm talking about right there, what a mackerel that I Woo! Check that out, guys. All right, guys, there it is. That is the fish that I was telling you about, guys. Check that out. Check that beast of a fish out right there, guys. Man, check that out. I'm outside now and get ready to put it on him, get him filleted up. We'll definitely go do some um, smoke with him and um, smoke macro dip. Look at the check the teeth out on him right there. You do not want to get your fingers caught up in that butty right there, man. He would tear him off, man. This was an excellent fish, man. I'm talking about, man. He pulled a nice first elbow trolling out there with him, caught me one, man. I'm so happy. But like I say, it was fun getting back out there. It's been a while since I was out there dealing with all the stuff that I was dealing to. Like I say, I mentioned back in my videos. And, all the destruction and trees down and stuff but slowly i'm getting everything back together everything's coming along everything got cleaned off the city came through and did their thing you know got me all back and running but i'm gonna do start on getting this guy clean up guys all right guys i'm gonna get ready to get this guy cleaned up and this is one of the grunts that I was telling y'all about right here. That I got there and caught nice size grunt that I will be getting them clean up as well. Check them out. Kind of remind you of a hogfish with the lips and everything. Oh, big mouth. But I'm going to clean this up as well. But um, I'm going to get right. All right. One of the easiest fish to clean to deal with is these right here because you can just go straight through. But um, I'm gonna go. This is my nine inch deco blade right here. Nine inch. This thing is super sharp, guys. Super affordable if you want to get one of these. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check these knives out. So let's get to it. Like I say, super sharp. Feel for that backbone. And on out to the other side. Like I say, you can just come straight down with these guys here. Super easy fish to clean. Alright guys, check that out. Got some roe there. This guy there got some roe. Check that out. Flip him over, do the with the same thing with the other side. He ain't have much in his stomach. Not much, too much in his stomach, guys. Not too much. This guy was starving for that little trolling feather I had. All right, we're going to flip them over, do the same thing to the other side. Take that meat out, guys. Yeah, take that out. Same thing to the other side. Flip them over. The 
Got a long screw. Got a little backbone. I might use this right here as, you know, some crowd bait or something like that. But I will definitely hold on to this right here. Put down in the bucket. And right here, guys, got some more of that row. Yeah, I may do something with this row later. You never know. I may fry it up and give it a taste test, see how it is. But if I do, I will let y'all know how it goes. But I'll write this right here. We just got a few pin bone. And when you're smoking these fish right here, you don't have to cut the skin off. And um, you don't have to fillet it off. You can just put them straight on the grill and then smoke it. As they come on, you can just peel your meat off. And what I'm gonna be doing with this right here, after I get everything all cleaned up, I'll portion out. I'm just going to portion out like this right here, just like that. I'm just going to portion it out and um, cut this off. Okay, guys, this knife is super sharp. And um, I'm just going to portion them out, get them all cleaned up, portion them out. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be putting in a um, a brown sugar and salt water, like a brine, get them brined up for about five or six hours, and then I'm gonna put them on the smoker, probably around 180 to 225, and let them smoke. And it's gonna be some also smoke dip. And I'm gonna show y'all all of that. In the meantime, I'm gonna get these guys cleaned up. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this grunt up. I'm probably gonna make some clever some blackened tacos also with this grunt later on. But I'm just going to get them cleaned up and get all this stuff cleaned up. And I will see y'all in a bit. All right, guys. As you can see, I got my macro and everything ready right here. Got it all good, clean, and prepped. Got it right here. Ready to go in my brine. Like I say, some brown sugar, salt, water, maybe six to eight hours right here. I'm just going to let it brine and get right. And then I'm going to put it on the grill for about, let's say, three to four hours at 180 to 225, 250, let it go. Then we'll be ready, we just peel it off, get our vegetables and our sour cream, our cheese. Ooh, man, this, this gonna be good right here, guys. But I'm gonna get this ready. And But I also have, right here, some of the leftover macro body that I'm gonna probably use. I'm gonna freeze it, and when I go back out, I'm gonna try that trolling again. I was very happy that I caught one. But I'm going to freeze and try to reuse these, maybe some strips to put on my skirt that I have. And speaking of that, my lure, I'm going to have to get another feather for it because my feather got all toe up. But that's an awesome lure right there, guys. But I'm going to freeze these. I'm going to brine this. And we're going to be ready to go. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. This is the next day. I decided to let that brine go all night to soak up all the flavors and everything. And also what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I got my fish right here. I had to let it soak in that brine all night to get that texture that I wanted. It soaked up all that, nothing but salt, brown sugar, and water that I have in here right now. And I got my season. I'm going to be putting on a little black pepper, a little liquid smoke. This right here, guys, will bring that, that flavor out right there, that mesquite liquid smoke and I'm just gonna put on some onion powder and some garlic salt you know just very simple season I'm gonna put on there and as you see I'm gonna get my grill to about 220 up in there then I'm just gonna put them on there I'm gonna just let them smoke get my grill right y'all it's finna go down and what I'm do I'm gonna let that macro cook probably about maybe let it run about couple hours and in the meantime I'm gonna go out there and hit some of that gym guys get that workout in and when I come from the gym I'm gonna stop by the store and get some supplies all my tomatoes my cheese sour cream cream cheese everything to take to put in to get this macro right like I say it 
one of my little pumpkins right here that's just falling apart now as you can see but um when that storm was here when the tree fell i was telling you about the pumpkin and i was trying to save the vines and everything that was out there and all that mess out there all that mess i was trying to save my pumpkins but i only got one to actually survive out the whole thing it was a little runt it didn't do that well but this is the only one that did make it out as you can see but it's starting to rot and everything i'm gonna chunk it out there and but out there it was the only one that made it but like i say back to the micro and i will be back all right getting ready to put this macro down y'all I'll just get a couple of pieces like this right here, put it down on the grill. And what you want to do, you want to season your grill first, season it. I just got a little of this butter flavor. Got to keep the fish from sticking on your grill. Right there, guys. But to say, I got that mackerel going in right here. Down with another piece. Oh, yeah, guys to get right real soon. So us say you got it going down on that grill. Right here, another piece right there. I so think you just wanna slide it on there and make it look real nice. Oh yeah, micro. Smoke micro, y'all. That's it right there. You got it going on the grill. I'm gonna get going on, get the season. I can say real simple season, guys. Just a little black pepper. Yeah. Going down with a little onion powder. Yeah. I mean, you can be real gentle with the seasoning because it's going to just soak all on flavors up. So, you know. It is going down real soon over here. Mm -hmm. Check that out, guys, how that looks. Already can start smelling on season. A little onion. Onion salt right there. Like I say, don't be scared of putting the season on it. All that does is go soak it in there and bring all those flavors out. Hit it with some of this real deal right here, some of that smoke right there. Oh, God, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? It'll be real, real soon here, guys. All right, everything is going down. That macro is looking ready already. And so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that run. Like I said, I'm gonna let it run for about a couple hours or two. And um, I'm going to go and hit some of this gym, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have made it here to where I'm going to go ahead and get some of this workout in at my spot at the Planet Fitness, guys. I am here, going here about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, work out a little, and... After I get through doing that, I'm going to go in here and head uptown to the grocery store and get all my ingredients for my dip. And um, I got it going now for about 30 minutes now. It's been going now. So like I said, I'm going to work out for about 45 minutes to an hour here playing the fitness, guys. And I'll get back with you. All right, guys. I have made it back from the gym. And as you can see, man, check that out. Mm, yeah, check that out. It's starting to look good in here, guys. Mm -hmm, check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got it smoking, guys, low and slow. Yeah. Yes. Can you smell it? Let's get it in there. Okay. All right, we're going to let that roll about another, let's see, probably another, about another, maybe 20, 30 minutes. We're ready to go. 
All right, guys, we are back. Check it out. That's what we have right there. That is the finished product of the smoke macro, guys. I let it smoke for about three hours between 185 to 225, and that's what we have. And we're going to make this dip. We're going to start pulling it off the bone, which whether off this right here, it's going to fall apart. And we're trying not to get any bones in there like this right here, but we just all the skin just comes off as so and we just break it up make sure we have no bones and right like that right there we do not want we just break it off start breaking it out of there see how we're just breaking it up make sure we don't get no bones just break it up skin just peels right off and again, just flaky, juicy. Look how juicy that is. Tender, not overcooked, just perfect. Perfect meat, white meat. Got some bones that we do not want. Like I say, it had a small bloodline, but as you can see right there, but it's not nothing to worry about. Just get all this meat. Right here, guys, this is so juicy right here. You can see the juice off this, this skin just comes right off. Just like that. And all you left with some good meat, guys. Alright, guys, see, this is what we left with. As you pull it all off, pull it apart, and make sure you check for bones. Because what we're ruining a good, perfectly dip if you get a bone out of here so make sure you check for bones but we got it all ready you don't want to broke up too much because you want some good chunks in there so we're going to get these vegetables cut up and lemon and cut up and we're going to incorporate everything in here we're working with just the little lighting that we have because due to like that we're in florida and due to trees again we are once again without power but we are making it happen still the show must go on. So we're going to get these ready to go. cream and again guys this is no special way to do this you know this to your own preference you go by taste and how you like it so I, but this is what I'm dealing with I'm dealing with some garlic cream cheese onions tomato lemon and some sour cream and some cheese and what you do you just go to put it in and get it to your liking and your taste so here we go Sour cream going in. Check that out. Alright, we're going in 
with some cream. Oh, wait a minute before I get too far ahead of myself. Oh, the show. Little garlic, about that much. Cream cheese going in next. cheese is in there. Going back in with the rest of the cream and cheese, y'all. up some of this and we'll show you the finished product in just a minute all right we are ready we are ready to assemble this and what we're going to do just put them all around there like that right there oh man look at that y'all it can look pretty have a party around here cheese on top guys check that out smoke mackerel guys catch clean and smoke right there check it out all right guys i'm going in with a taste test to show y'all what i think about this right here awesome day i had out there be glad to catch this guy but we're going to see what we're working with right there guys God, it is good, that is fresh. The seasoning is spot on. The texture is good. It's a nice. Check that out. All right, guys, thank you for riding with me on this one. We're probably gonna eat some of this up and, you know, we're gonna try it again, hopefully. I'll be successful again. But like I said, if you like this video so far, you like what I'm doing so far, please like and subscribe. Leave all your comments in the description below. Positive comments. You know, at least tell me what you would like me to do or you would like to see me do. And I can try to get out there and do it. But guys, thanks again for riding with me on this one. It shows been a pleasure. And we are out here and I'll see y'all on the next one.